It's me, and today I want to talk about whether to adopt an adult dog or a puppy dog. Yay! After you made sure that you have the time, the money and the space for a dog, you now have to decide if you want to start from square one with a small little puppy that is like a white sheet of paper or if you want to adopt an already grown dog that had its fair share of life and experiences. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can watch my first video about that topic where I talk about the questions you should ask yourself before you adopt a dog or yeah, that's what the video is called, so that's gonna be the right thing. I put the link into the video description and I also will put some sites where you can read a bit more about the topic I'm talking about today into the description as well. So if you're interested, you can start your research there and Back, back, back to the topic. There are different reasons for deciding on whether to get a newborn pup or an adult dog and also different pros and cons for both options, obviously. So I will try to go all over the ones I can think of and I hopefully can help you with your decision if you want to get a dog or if you right now deciding to get a dog and if you're actually watching this video, it would be great. Then I hope it's going to be easier for you and maybe you change your opinion after this video who knows and also let me know if you do or if you have a different opinion or if you want to add something i might have overlooked because that's also possible so let's start with puppies puppies are most often the more popular option i mean who can blame the people puppies are the cutest but of course, there are a lot of different things to consider when you want to get a puppy over an already grown dog. Well, yeah, they learn fast, grow up like you want them to grow up, and they will have a strong bond to you and your family from the beginning. And well, they are adorable, but you have to consider that puppies have different needs than already grown dogs. And, well, you basically are adopting a little baby and you have to handle it like a little baby. I actually experienced that people who don't know much about dogs are usually thinking that a puppy is just a smaller version of a dog and that they should function like a dog already. I mean, technically, yes, they are a tiny version of a dog, but they're a baby. It's just not the case that they pop out and can already do everything. A puppy just knows as much as you teach it. Like with little kids, they will cause the ruckus, they try out everything, put everything in their mouths and maybe even eat it. You can't really leave them alone or even out of sight. You have to train them, but have to find the right time and the right place, so you don't overstrain them. They don't know the rules yet, neither human nor other dog, and obviously they aren't clean yet. So, it's your responsibility to teach them everything and you can make a lot of mistakes while doing so. You have to consider the sex, the size and the breed of the dog and you also have to be aware that at one point they will be teenagers and they will try and see what they can get away with and with what they can't get away with. They will grow and if you get a puppy you should be prepared for a grown dog as well. That should be obvious but looking around the real world it seems not to be that obvious for a lot of people for some reason. That's why I'm saying it again. Puppies will grow up. In the first eight months, they need all the care, love and time you can give them. Again, if you work a full-time job, I wouldn't recommend a puppy because you simply can't leave them alone, especially not eight hours a day. So to put it into bullet points so it is easier to consume. They are very curious and would try out everything. They don't know the rules for living together with a human or other dogs. They aren't clean, they can't stay alone and they have to be trained from zero. Plus, you can make a lot of mistakes. But of course also, they didn't have a maybe stressful or traumatizing past life. They are fast to form a bond with the humans. They can be accustomed to your own lifestyle. They are very impressionable and it's your decision what it learns and what it doesn't. I also want to say that you shouldn't adopt a puppy that is younger than 3 months or at least 8 weeks and you shouldn't buy your dog on the internet either. Obvious, but there is still a bunch of people who do that, but I think that's gonna be a video on itself. A puppy is a lot of organization, even more than a grown dog, but you have to look for other things if you want to adopt from a shelter or wherever you would get the older dog from. Usually it is a shelter and I'm always for it because most of the time staying in a shelter for too long isn't exactly good for a dog's mental health. And you're helping a poor little pupper find a hopefully loving home. 
and we are now at the point adult. There are a few things you have to consider, especially if you get your first own dog from a shelter. What is the history of the dog? How old is it? What breed is it? Did it have any traumatizing past events? Is it trained with the basic commands? And is it clean? One of the advantages you have is that you can slowly get to know the dog. Go for a walk with it. See if its character suits you and if it's a cuddler or a player or maybe both. You can kind of see in which direction the dog's character will go. And most of the time shelter dogs or even adopted street dogs are from my experience at least very kind and very thankful animals. They are a very good choice for elderly people or a family with children, even though the kids should get to know the dog before you buy it. That's important. You can leave them alone for longer, but it also can be that they need more time to form a bond with their new humans and that they need more time to settle down, especially if they had an abusive handler beforehand. Even though there is a rumor that you can't train older dogs anymore, it's wrong. You can train any dog, it just might take a bit longer, so even if the dog doesn't know everything you want it to know, you still have the option to train it. To summarize, they could have a stressful or traumatizing past. You have to be flexible because it maybe isn't compatible to your lifestyle. Depending, there can be behavioral disorders. It takes longer to build trust. But of course, they are calmer than puppies. They know the basic commons. They are clean. They are easier to handle in a family. You can get to know the dog first and you're doing something good. Of course, it always depends on the dog and on its character, but that's the point of being able to meet them beforehand. There are dogs that shouldn't be adopted by people who never had a dog or don't know how to handle a dog correctly, especially when the past is known and it maybe is traumatized or very hurt. Always talk with the stuff in the shelters and find out as much about the dog as you can. And well, you will see how the dog acts and that actually helps a lot with the decision. Quick story time. We have both. Right now we have a puppy named Tori who came to us just in January and you saw a lot of recordings of him already. It's the sweet little baby with black and white and a little moustache. And I can't really say much but what I already did about puppies. But Diego, the big black Labrador mix, a Labrador Ridgeback mix to be more specific, is actually adopted. We didn't get him from the shelter, but the shelter kind of helped us getting him from his home. His owner had to give him up for various reasons and he was neglected. He was way too thin and to be honest, at first I wasn't a fan. He soon changed though and he became much calmer after he actually got enough to eat and regular walks and attention. Beforehand he was put alone into a room for most of the day and maybe got out once. And after we neutered him, he completely calmed down and stopped being a dick to other male dogs. You can't compare the dog we got to the dog we have now. He's an absolute sweetheart now. He was, I think he, we got him when he was four, but it could also be that he was three years old. I'm not sure, actually. I would have to look that up. So what I want to say is that the dog will probably change in your care. And depending on how you handle it, it can become a wonderful part of the family. To end this video off... Personally, I think a puppy isn't something for people who never owned a dog before and don't have the experience and the knowledge. Of course, you always have the ability to learn about puppies and how to handle them. Maybe even stay in touch with the breeder who could help you with that. But I think people underestimate the work a puppy means a lot of the time. What I think is preferable is to get a young dog. So maybe a year or two years old. At this point, the puppy preferably is clean and knows the basic comments, but it's still very impressionable. Still a lot of work because, of course, being young also means a lot of energy, but not a baby anymore. That's just my personal opinion. Me out.